Hi Pisces, uh, welcome to your weekly love reading uh, for the 18th to the 23rd of August. This is a love reading, so if you have a love situation and it resonates with you, um, please like, share and subscribe. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What messages do we have for Pisces this week? Pisces this week in love. They're trying to jump out. Okay. Ooh, the hangman, okay. Okay, Ooh, okay. that one's going to and let's do that. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. I think I know what's happening here, Pisces. Let's take another card. To really get this situation, I think that you avoided, um, yeah, okay, interesting, yeah, so you've got a lot of loving cards in reverse, oddly, so um, I think that your level of self-awareness has prevented you from Getting involved in a love situation actually was probably going to be really bad for you. Let's uh, just check this out a little bit more. So, um, why are some lovers in reverse here, please? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, this is the, um, you've received recently received some disappointing news, but I think it's a case of, yeah, it would have been, <coughs> I'm losing my voice all of a sudden, so someone is not communicating. Um, the full in reverse. So this would have been a really silly move, basically. This would have been a silly decision to get into this relationship. Um, and as a result, you, you're probably feeling a bit rubbish about it, but you've avoided the tower here. Um, in your mind, there's this four of wands, maybe, and it's in reverse. So I'm going to just clarify that. <coughs> Why is the four of wands in reverse? Yeah, it was not balanced. Why is the tower here? It might have been a case of unrequited love. <coughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Star card. So it wasn't meant to be. Um, I feel like it was a very unbalanced situation and it, you've, the universe has helped you dodge a bullet here. The universe has something better for you. It's saying, no, no. I have actually what you're meant to find coming for you. Pisces, how are you feeling about this? How is Pisces feeling about this this week? How is Pisces feeling about this this week? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think that you're actually sort of like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. See, look, I'm good. Feeling quite, it's not generous, but you're feeling like everything's okay. Yeah, you're focused on your intuition, your inner self, and this is this card as well. So um, you've been very good at self awareness, and I think that that's actually the universe is rewarding you. You've done the work, you've identified what's going to work for you and what doesn't work for you, and you've avoided a disaster basically you've dodged a bullet so i think that you are um kind of in this you're in a really good space at the moment you are actually fine you're okay with it at first i thought this was a denial fine but no i think you are actually okay because you're confident in your own feelings you've got the high priestess here um you're confident that yep i know myself i know what's right for me and this isn't right for me how is the other person feeling about this? Not that it really matters. <clears throat> How is the other person feeling about this? Yep, okay. So they're, they're kind of in their head a little bit about it. Um, this is my back and forth head card, like when you have two two sides in your head that you're not quite sure which way to go, but 
um, the right decision ends up being made. So I kind of feel like they're like, yeah, the right decision has been made here. Yeah, and I got the King of Cups in, uh, sorry, the Knight of Cups in reverse. So they aren't making any sort of offers anymore. This isn't right for them. Um, they, yeah, they're just not, they're a little bit immature probably as well. What's the overall outcome for this week for Pisces? What's the most likely outcome or overall outcome this week for Pisces? So you're looking for your new offer, you're waiting for your new offer, um, and it's coming. This new, it may actually come in this week. So um, I think, okay, it could be an Aries, but just be mindful that they are not overbearing, dominant. Yeah, okay. All right, I think that that's. Um, one more apparently yep okay so releasing your thoughts a little bit about it um you're going to i think by the end of the week you're you're actually going to be perfectly fine about this to be honest i don't even think you're going to be thinking about it but what advice is there for pisces in love let's go general advice for pisces in love since this is sort of something that kind of ended what's new what's coming up yeah, release the burdens. Don't hold on to the past. Yeah, it's a bit of a next energy. Like, thank you. Next, Ariana, Ariana, Ariana Grande. Um, yeah. Anything else? Any other general advice of Pisces in love? Ooh, your twin flame is coming. Okay, they are out there. Any other last advices for oh, Pisces in love? Yeah, okay, so this is a soulmate card. It is in reverse though, so um, you might be saying you need to release any burdens from the past before you can have this happily ever after. So do the self, I hate saying do the work, but just, you know, work on self-improvement and, um, you know, releasing any past baggage is no other way to say it but basically dealing with that baggage hiding it putting the baggage under the under the stairs doesn't make it go away so um yeah if you want to write write this card up right way up then you need to um release those burdens and get over that past baggage i'm going to pull a romance angel card just for you pisces so what advice <coughs> do the romance angels have for Pisces in love? What advice do the romance angels have for Pisces in love? Give your relationship a chance. So I think, um, yeah, the in the future you need to be ready and you need to be able to have done the work yourself so that you can work on your partnerships in the future okay all right excellent thanks so much uh pisces and i'll see you for the weekly uh sorry the weekend readings bye